Right, Deji's back at it again, isn't he? I'm still ill. Yep, still. It's not good. I'm just going to keep you updated in every single video on the status of my illness, just until I feel better. Make sure you follow me on my socials, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter, please. I need followers. But yeah, anyway, back to Deji. He don't like his brother right much, does he? I think that's an understatement, to be honest. They've been beefing for a few months now. After the whole thing about Randolph be like, oh, we, your channel's dead. That just started a load of drama, didn't it? Between Deji and his brother. The KSI. But a little bit ago, they squashed it all. They made some videos together, like the good old days. But then Deji decided to re-upload the diss track that he made on it. Despite KSI being like, don't upload the diss track, Deji. Just delete it. He didn't even delete it. He just unlisted it. So it was still there. If you had the URL, you could go and watch it again. I mean, you don't even need the URL now, because he's made it public again. Not the brightest thing that Deji's ever done that. I think it might even be worse than snorting those jammy dodges a few years ago. Anyway, he made this video called Bye. I don't know where he's off to, hopefully somewhere nice. But basically in this video, he exposes KSI. And we're gonna have to put expose in these things here, just in case, do you know what I mean? Because of this video, KSI's been losing subscribers on his main channel and his second channel. But does he care? No, of course not, he's a millionaire. To quote him, let me try and find a fuck to give. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this Bye video. So get your snacks, you know, get yourself a nice drink because we've got the juicy medium rare beef for you yet again very flavoursome so with this video i am not looking for any sympathy loving that shirt deji it's like when you try to expose your brother at one but you've got a business meeting at two it's a very formal shirt is what i'm trying to say but this video is like 45 minutes long is this boy trying to kill me to be fair i don't think i need any help i'm dying on my own anyway i am simply just trying to clear my name i'm going to explain step by step why i did what i did regarding the whole situation with my brother. But for you to really understand, like to fully understand, we have to go back to 2012. Do we have to? For a white year that, I was still fat. So, some of you are aware of this, 2012 was when me and my brother, we started doing videos together on his second channel. We used to play games, horror games, funny games, challenges. Like, it was, it was amazing, in my opinion. Uh, and if I'm honest, it was, it's really what made me decide that I want to do YouTube. But this was the year that started everything off for Deji. We're making videos with KSI on his second channel where they'd play games together, all this sort of thing. And it's this that made him decide to start his own channel and become a YouTuber just like his brother. Then he just goes on about all the hitting and punching in the videos and how it was something that he didn't like and it made him feel uncomfortable. And he even told KSI that he didn't like it and he wanted him to stop. But anyway, so looking back at the videos we used to do in 2012, Obviously, it started innocent. The games we were playing, it was just a, it was just a laugh. It was funny. It was, it was literally just a bundle of fun. It was content for you guys to enjoy. It was hilarious. So obviously, it all started off with just an innocent slap, a few chat, a few Q and A's like slap Deji. Slap Deji. Oh God, what? Ow! Oh hell no! And all that stuff. It was. It started off innocent. Obviously, I saw the fun side of it too because, like, at the time, it was funny. Everybody found it funny in the comments. Everyone was just having a laugh. But through the progression of those videos that we did, you know, on my brother's second channel, slowly, it progressively, it started to get more violent. From throwing controllers. You need a piss off. Fuck you. To throwing bottles. Belts. Oh, is it What's your problem? Dude, what? I'm gonna fucking yeah, you can't belt me. Give me my belt. Give me you my belt. You can't belt me. I just want to put on my belt. You can't put on your I belt. I just want to put on my belt because my trousers are falling. Give me, give me my belt. Give me my belt. Give me my belt, belt nigga. Even chairs. I beat this, nigga. I beat this. Why? Fucking hell! Why? Honestly, yes, chairs. It just basically turned into WWE, doesn't it? Tables, ladders, and chairs. I used to watch that. I didn't. Obviously, I didn't see it as a big thing. I mean, chairs are quite big, to be fair. You're not wrong, did you? But then too much became too much because, as you can see in some of the videos, you can see my discomfort. I often felt uncomfortable, and I got tired of just being a laughing post. 
really. I got tired of it. Even back then, I would just simply walk out. I would just walk out because I, I, it wasn't funny. I didn't like it. Ow! What, you've given up? <laughs> no, I'm leaving. You're leaving, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna count to five. No, you, you it's where, it'd be more fun if we're I'm, both together. I'm always in this position. Look at that camera. No, yeah, but... I'm leaving. No, no, I wanna... But, obviously, this is partly my fault because I never addressed this publicly. I did tell him privately to stop, but... Obviously, that didn't ha that didn't work. So there, he just said he told KSI that he wanted it to stop, but Big Boy KSI does what he wants, doesn't he? Now we're gonna skip ahead to late 2013, like towards the end of 2013. So this is not really known, but my brother ended up kicking me out at November time 2013. The point I'm trying to make is I was scared. I went to live with my parents. And my brother stayed in the house that he bought off my parents. Is it just me that knew none of this? Am I just a shit fan of him? I didn't even know he moved in with KSI, to be honest. I thought he always lived with his parents, but that's just me. Anyway, a few days pass. Me and my brother, we make up. And uh, obviously, we start to do videos with each other again. My brother texted me saying, Hey, Deji, I've got a, I've got a great idea involving FIFA. And obviously, I was ecstatic. I was like, I get to see my brother again. I'm glad we're on great terms, it's just amazing. So anyway, my dad dropped me off at my at, uh, JJ's house. Uh, I think I was only, I was there for a day or two. I can't remember. So FIFA and challenges were really, really popular at the time. And for an unknowing reason, this would have to cause me pain. So my brother had an idea of FIFA slavery, slavery FIFA. Some of you guys may have seen the video, it involves, if the other person scores, you have to get hit with a belt. I'm just gonna whip your head. And let me whip your head. Ow! 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 Why let me let him? Why you didn't come out? Like, obviously at the time, I saw it as all fun and game. See, this one isn't as bad as the other one because you're both hitting each other. Obviously, the other ones were really one-sided. But this is your chance to get your own back. Hit him as hard as you want. You've got an excuse to do it. But when I look at it now, even today, challenges with my brother, pain is a recurring theme. I mean, even our latest challenge we've done consists of pain. <laughs> you punched me in the face! Can I get a stomach punch? No! You can get, you get to call out what you want! No, 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 you can't make, no, you can't just make shit up! I want a stomach punch! That's not fair! You know how to get punched in the stomach, come on, bro! Oh, my... <laughs> oh, damn it, man. Again, you're still both hitting each other. Those sorts of videos do well because they're funny to watch. Late 2015, I was doing videos with this girl and everything. Long story short, uh, JJ knowing that I talked to her, done videos with her, and everything, it just came as a surprise when I found out that my brother had slept with her. And that really did affect me. And I, I won't even deny it, I cried for days. Now this bit is fucked up. Deji goes on about how we talked to this girl for ages and then KSI shagged her. Uh, obviously when I found out that my brother had slept with her, I stopped talking to her because I, I, I couldn't, I, I, I just couldn't do it. I didn't want this to get in the way of me and my bro. I did confront him about it, but when I confronted him, I acted like I didn't care. I confronted him about it and he just said, 
his words were, she came to me, it's not my fault. I have a feeling that this girl was Shauna because I remember ages ago and I was really confused about this. Deji made a video with Shauna and I swear it had girlfriend in the title. I don't know if that was just for the views or whatever. But then the same girl was in KSI's video and he was calling her his girlfriend. I'd imagine this would be everyone's reaction. Like if your brother did this, you'd be distraught. Luckily I'll never have this experience because mine just spends all the time playing on Xbox. My brother reacted to his diss track. Instead of my brother keeping neutral or even sticking up for me, Instead, he decided to, instead he was sticking up for his friend, claiming that everything he said in his diss track was true, just supporting him. Hey, hey that's true. <laughs> Tell me, are you brain dead? Cause you still live with your parents. I got loyalty deep, too busy taking edibles. Backstage, oh, I was before. No! Right. No! He spinned a lot of facts, but it's all, it's all mad. It's all mad. He talks about how KSI didn't stick up for Deji. He stuck up for his mates instead. But then when KSI went through all the controversy when he when he lost his like Microsoft deal, like they, I mean there were a lot of controversies back in the day. But Deji were there by his side, weren't he? Bless him. Um. He goes over what happened at Christmas, basically things that we already know. And then it ends with him quoting KSI. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. And just like my brother said, there's always two sides to a story. I'm not going to add all the stuff about like the whole diss tracks and like all the Randolph beef and all the stuff that happened over Christmas. Because we already know about it, because let's face it, Deji uploaded about 15 videos on all situation, didn't he? But it's good of Deji to upload a, a video like this just explaining everything. But again, the only thing I've learned from this video is that KSI shagged his bird and that he didn't like that KSI kept hitting him in his videos. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to end the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment, because why not? Merch is linked in the description as well as my Instagram and my Twitter, so go follow me on them. Any video suggestions you got, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys later.